Yo, what's up guys? Today we're back on Pokemon Showdown for one of the OU Live. Now, this isn't really um, Road to Rank 1. This is more like Road to Recovering My Points from Decay, as well as Hacks, as well as just straight up losing. Um, I'm using a serious Fabio team. If you guys haven't been following Hita Fajita, uh, Fabio is a physically defensive rest talk Ampharos that puts the entire team on its back whenever it gets a game, man. This thing is ridiculous. Um... And yeah, Blunder game this team, so we're just going to be recovering some points right here, hopefully. And uh, we got a game right away. Um, Fabio is actually pretty help helpful for Talonflame. Talonflame cannot do anything to it. It also checks this and this. Uh, I think my DD Gator just destroys him, especially if I weaken if, if I weaken Chestnut just a bit. So I'm actually going to lead off with my Weavile because Weavile also can just get a kill as well. I do have to worry about his Excadrill as well as his Talonflame, but I mean, Fabio just walls Talonflame indefinitely. So I'm actually going to leave off with Weavile because, like I said, Weavile can get a kill um, turn one. I'm expecting him to lead off with Garchomp. I guess he could also lead off with Titar, which would be a little bit of an issue, but uh, I could bluff the low kick as well. I, I don't. I just wanted to give. I, I want to give myself a lead that can deal with Garchomp, uh, basically. I guess also Manaphy or maybe even Gator. But Gator will be taking all the extra damage as he leaves off with Chestnut. Uh, definitely do not want to stay out. Or stay in, rather. What? <laughs> definitely don't want to stay out, guys. Uh, so I'm actually going to go out to my Fabio as Fabio can take any hit he wants to go for. And uh, this Train Punch, actually, that's a crit Train Punch. Must be nice. I did not Mega Evolve. I'm going to Mega Evolve right now. And I'm going to Volt Switch on out of there as he goes Drill. Whatever, though. I am able to Mega Evolve. And... Uh, See, I kind of want to Dragon Falls, predicting him to double into something, predicting my landers, maybe predicting him to go out to Garchomp, but I guess I'm not real enough right now, as he actually goes Trash Knot, so. Either way, I get up my Stealth Rock now, and uh, that was very much helping me. SD landers can actually destroy his team, again, if I weaken his Chestnut, which uh, that's not something I'm going to be able to do as of right now, but I'm uh, going to switch out into my uh, Jirachi because I do want to get off a Toxic on him, as he is going to spike up. And uh, again, getting off this Toxic is nice for his Garchomp or even Slowking that I ended up wanting to come out. So I'm able to uh, weaken the Slowking with that Toxic. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I wasn't even a voice crack. It's just like losing my voice as uh, Scald should not be able to break me just because I do have 101 HP. So that's why I went for Sub right there. And I, I will be able to just go for Iron Head. Even if he wants to go out into Excadrill, which is perfect for me. Uh, I do outspeed Excadrill. And I just get off damage on him with the Iron Head. So I think I'll go for another Iron Head. Um, because if I get the flinch on him, then he should be in range of Life Orb plus Fire Punch. Uh, as he's more than likely Life Orb since I did not see Air Balloon or anything. But I'm going to go for Fire Punch right now. As I should be able to pick him off. And that worked <laughs> expertly. That worked amazingly for me. So I was able to get rid of his Spinner. Uh, which means that Talonflame will be coming in on Rocks. And uh, as Garchomp is going to come out, and I'm just going to... Is this Mega Garchomp? Maybe. This could be Mega Garchomp, but I'm just going to go right for the Toxic right here as I am able to um, do a bit of damage. Now, I kind of am expecting him to be Mega Chomp, but I'm kind of expecting him to, be me to Mega Evolve and actually go for Draco, so I'm actually going to go for Sub right here. Yep. <laughs> uh, the reason being is my only ground resist happens to be my uh, Lanterns, and I think I might actually be able to outspeed him now and flinch him to death, so... Yeah. <laughs> As I'm able to flinch him, and uh, this thing just put the entire team on his back. If he doesn't even break through, I'll probably be able to beat his entire team. Uh, as unfortunately, <laughs> as unfortunately he breaks through. But I'm able to knock out the Garchomp as well. As Talonflame is going to come out. And then Fabio completely walls this thing. So I'm actually going to go directly into Fabio. Uh, no matter what he wants to do. Look how little his attack is going to do. Yeah. Zero. Missed. <laughs> as I can just go right for Dragon Pulse right here. Uh, as he is going to roost. And the reason I went for Dragon Pulse is I expected that roost. Um, I guess, though, I should be able to rest up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to rest up right here. No point in not resting. As I want him to get to full HP, that way I can get off a of Volt Switch. And then Volt Switch out into anything that could take him on. So I'm going to Sleep Talk right here. Play around with the rolls as he prevents that Sleep Talk. But then again, what is he doing to me? I'm just going to burn a turn of Sleep then. And just click Volt Switch. Uh, that's already the first turn of Sleep burnt. As Titar is going to come out. And that's the second turn burnt, so. I don't want to risk going out to Landers and having him Ice Beam me, so I'm actually going to go out into my Jirachi. As. <laughs> yeah, I'm on point with these plays, what the hell? <laughs> 
uh, as I'm gonna be able to um, to a with the with the iron head as he attempts to go for the pursuit right there and I'm just gonna be able to iron head him with the next one <laughs> I guess um, the reason I am being like this is because I, he knows my only ground resist as well as my main check to talent flame is my um, is my Lanterous and I do not get leftovers first so what do I do right here he's definitely in a taunt I'm gonna try and toxic though as I actually oh no I am faster than him so yeah I'm able to toxic the uh, talent flame and that should be a good game I don't see him breaking through my team I mean you know the thing is at the end of the day chestnut can still wall half my team so what I'm actually gonna do is just iron head him uh, force him to take the uh, toxic damage plus the sand damage turn per turn his only attack to hit me is brave bird he is not invested uh, definitely not invested as he's taunt wisp so again I'll just be doing damage turn per turn there's no danger of him setting up since he's already shown his entire moveset bar his flying stab so unless his last attack is SD <laughs> yeah I'm gonna be able to um, beat him 1v1 right here as uh, it depends how I want to win if I want to win with my mana fee I guess I could but I don't know I need a weakened slow king so uh, Fabio is the best play right now as I can just fire off uh, a dragon pulse as he's gonna switch out so what he did was um just kill himself to stealth rock I'm fine with that and you know Fabio's gonna eat any hit so I'm just gonna volt switch as unfortunately he does miss that stone edge it I don't think it mattered it wouldn't have done crap to me anyway uh, as I will be able to go out into my um what is the best play I guess Weavile is fine because I want to knock off that chestnut's uh, item um, or even I could crash him honestly, but he'll just be recovering it all with uh, drain punch But just not isn't come out uh, Because he spikes there's no danger of him being belly drum unless he's belly drum spikes that could be an issue I guess but I'm able to do a hell of a lot with ice crash I could also flinch him as that is not the case, but he is gonna be at uh, at 50% so I don't know if that's enough for gator, but I'm gonna attempt to go gator uh, Fabio just wins the game because it can stall out this Pokemon. It can actually stall this Pokemon out too. If he wants a spiky shield, then he spiky shields. Uh, if he doesn't, then I get off a sheer force boosted ice punch and actually take out the chestnut, which is nice. Uh, Talonflame will go down to hazards, and uh, I do have crunch for the slow king, so I'm just gonna fire off a sheer force boosted crunch as that does a hell of a lot as Psy Shock does not do nearly enough, and uh, I can just finish him off with the next crunch, or I can show off my moveset and go for a waterfall just in case he didn't think I had water stab, you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah and Talonflame will go down to Stealth Rock if it does live then it doesn't matter it can't roost so that's gonna be a good game right there I'm gonna look for another game guys I'm gonna pause it and we'll be right back all right so we have found another game now uh, my opponent also gets torn apart by this Rachi if I outplay him 100% <laughs> nah but uh, I can definitely win with DD Gator if I uh, can weaken Rotom as well as weaken his um, as well as weaken the uh, the Talon Flame. So I'm actually going to lead off on my Ampharos because uh, Fabio can basically beat the majority of his team. He is going to get up South Rock right here, but I will be able to Volt Switch on out of there. Mega Evolving. I don't even care if he has Earthquake or anything. It's not going to do anything to me anyway, as I can just Mega Evolve right here. Um, break any potential Sash, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And go out into my Jirachi. And what I, the plan is to sub right here as he probably goes Rotom and then Toxic it. Uh, if he wants to go extra drill, then he goes drill. If he stays in with Titar for some reason, oh yeah, that's a play to make. Let's just crunch the Jirachi when you can lose your sand and extra drill is limited on turns. I didn't want to go Lanners because I don't want to risk him having Ice Beam as I am able to flinch him once. Now I'm going to assume that that means he is scared of me. <laughs> so I'm going to go for Toxic right here, anticipating a switch. Maybe he wants to go drill though, so I think sub is the better play as he ends up going drill. And... Uh, what I can do is just uh, this is gonna be the last turn of his sand uh, because he is left over so he'll be taking life orb damage plus this fire punch damage and uh, it is a 2 KO and because like I said it's the last turn of sand I will be able to knock him out with this next fire punch I don't know if he knows that because I do outspeed I am at 3 up 3 speed he is at 3 up 2 so I'm able to get rid of extra drill which um, could have been a potential problem for my uh, or one thing stopping my for alligator sweep uh, there's two more Pokemon here though Talonflame is definitely one of them. Fabio is the counter to Talonflame, so I'm going to go right out into Fabio, and I'll just click Volt Switch as many times as I want. Uh, I could click Dragon Pulse also. That's also a play, but as you can see, that, does, that did 
13.6%. Did anybody else see that damage? I know I didn't. <laughs> Stealth Rock did more. Stealth Rock did roughly the same. Uh, so I will be able to click Volt Switch right here on whatever he wants to bring out as he brings out Titar. And, um... It is time we rinse repeat the process. I'm gonna go right out into my Jirachi, you know, get my leftovers back because of that sand and uh, well, because of the South Rock, whatever, and just click Iron Head. I will be able to knock out Titar at that range of HP, uh, getting rid of his sand as well. Fabio in the back, so I'm never scared of Talonflame, even if it gets up to plus six, it can't knock it out, <laughs> honestly, unless it's like natural gift, whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna go right out into Fabio right now. If he wants to go Ampharos, then he goes Ampharos. I think he could also U-turn right here, so I th I'm debating Toxicking. Yep. As he goes, Altaria, nice. So I'm able to Toxic the Altaria upon switching, and uh, I think I'm good to go with the... Uh, well, Iron Head is one of... I want to sub predicting his switch, but I think Iron Head's better because if he's uh, refreshed, then that could be annoying. So I'm just going to Iron Head him as I'm able to flinch him, and he will be taking enough damage to the point where he goes down to the next Iron Head. So knowing he knows this, I kind of want to sub up, yeah, I'll just sub. I don't lose anything by subbing. If he refreshes or he switches out, uh, which is perfect. Jirachi and Fabio just putting the team on their back. I'm going to be able to get off a of Toxic on um, this Rotom. Wearing it down for wearing it down for my Gator as he goes for Thunderbolt. Where am I in VGC? Huh? <laughs> Friends. But I'm just going to sub up again. I'm trying to get off damage on this thing. Uh, putting him in range of either Gator or even Weavao as Weavao just cleans up the game at this point as well. Uh, which is why I'm subbing up right now again Fabio just completely walls this thing so what I think I'll do is just go out to Fabio we already know he doesn't have vault switch so it's not like he can get switch priority and uh, I'm actually thinking he's gonna want to go for the uh, he's gonna want to go for the Willowis right here so I'm just gonna rest up of course the mist didn't matter because I would have rested it off that turn and uh, now I'll be able to go right for the sleep talk if he brings out Altaria uh, vault switch or dragon pulse are, are both perfect uh, as he pain splits up if he stays in with this and I get vault switch which I do, because that's my boy Fabio. Uh, <laughs> I would be able to go to Weavao and uh, knock him out with the knockoff after poison damage. Yeah, this will go down. He has no switches to knock off at all. Uh, if he wants to go Altaria, then Altaria will probably go down to life orb. Or even if it doesn't, I could just fire off another one or even Pursuit at that range. So Weavao is able to knock out the Rotom. And uh, he kind of has to go out to Talonflame right here. Uh, if he wants to double, then he doubles. You know, that's typically how it works. If you want to double, you do double. So, even though Gator can sweep him, it's not going to be getting up a Dragon Dance. So I'm actually going to go out to Gator, uh, just in case he wants a U-turn and or, uh, or SD up. Nice. I'm okay with that. As Again, Fabio will be able to live any hit, so. He has acrobatics. Interesting. But I'm going to go out to Fabio, and um, I do have Lander's T in the back anyway, just to deal with him regardless of uh, these SDs, but Fabio can deal with him. As you can see, that plus two, that plus two does nothing as uh, Fabio is going to get the rest, unfortunately, unfortunately for my boy Fabio, but I will be able to rest up right here. Did I count? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be able to rest up right here. Even if he wants to SD up again, um, Fabio is not too KO'd from full HP <laughs> at all from any attack he wants to go for as he is going to go out to Superior as I am going to be able to rest up the damage and... Uh, I'm just going to go for the Sleep Talk. I want to get off a bit of damage on this Superior. He has to go for Leaf Storm first just to get any type of boost. Unfortunately, I do get that attack right there. So now I'm a little bit more scared, I guess you could say. Maybe not really, though. Uh, as I can go right out into my uh, Jirachi as fodder for the Dragon Pulse. And I think just proceed to click Fire Punch right here. Uh, if he has HP fire, then he knocks me out, or if he goes for Leaf Storm, whatever, either way, I just want to prevent a sub, or any attack like that. Um, I did also burn one of my rest turns. Unfortunately, Fabio didn't come through right there. He usually gets Volt Switch in those situations. But uh, he does have HP fire, which does actually nothing to me, as I am able to go for the Fire Punch, and uh, destroy him, practically. So, I'm just going to go for another Fire Punch. I don't want him subbing up. I, I don't want any of that happening and fire punch just does damage to him anyway um, I guess I could still lose this game if I do miss all my attacks but I can go right onto my Weavile and just click Icicle Crash and uh, finish him off Lander's in the back I can deal with Altaria so I'm uh, just gonna click Icicle Crash as Altaria is gonna come out as he ends up sacking that and um, 
I kind of have to. Uh... Is he gonna double right here? I feel like he's gonna double. Uh, I'm gonna go Landers as the acrobatics and. Uh... I think I'm just gonna get up my house. Stealth rock. No? No, that's stupid. It's just SD right here. Where's my best play? Because if he goes, uh, I think Stone Edge is my best play. A max attack. I can knock out this. And if he SDs up, I'll be able to deal with him. And now I can just click Earthquake as many times as I want, uh, preventing a sub, preventing this, uh, preventing this superior from doing anything. And I really didn't want to stealth rock just in case he SD'd up. I also didn't want to go out to Fabio just in case. As unfortunately he gets a crit. So now I can't even click Ice Shard. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have killed me. That Pokemon is super weak. And I can unfortunately lose if I do miss this Icicle Crash. So uh, really unfortunate that I missed that uh, Earthquake right there. I might actually lose this game. But if I do, you know, that's just Pokemon for you. <laughs> Did anybody watch Jamvad's live where he put Pokemon and there was like hacks? I died. Uh, but, you know, this is a good game regardless, as I do end up connecting, and uh, Superior is going to go down. So, uh, good game, buddy. Let us look for another game. I'll pause it, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got a battle, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do what I did to the other guys and hacks him down to the death. He has Suicune, Gliscor, and Heatran, all of which destroy the Strachi. <laughs> I'm just going to lead off with Weavile, because Weavile has a really nice matchup versus my opponent's uh, leads. Potentially, if he leads Gliscor, um, I basically just go for knockoff. If he leads Clefable... Unfortunately, I am forced to switch out. So I want to go Landorus because I don't want to risk him going for Thunder Wave, predicting my Jirachi as uh, he tries to do so. And uh, I will be able to Stealth Rock up right here as he is going to go Gliscor. I don't mind that as much. Um, I guess it could be Subtoxic Gliscor. I want my Mana Fee to do work this game, but unfortunately I don't have Energy Ball, so it's really not going to do anything So uh, except Fire off a of Scald. So goes for Toxic. As I'm going to be able to fire off a Scald right here on his expected Protect. I don't want to double out to Weavile predicting Latios just yet. I'll do it after. Uh, assuming that is what wants to come out. But ends up going out into Latios as I do get the burn. And I really want to be aggressive right here and predict his... Uh, well, he could just drop a Draco though. So I'm actually just going to go for Scald. I don't want to predict his Defog and go all right out to Weavile. Uh, I feel like he'll drop a Draco first. As he roosts. As I am going to be able to Scald him. A bit more and um, you know what let's be aggressive with Evo I should have done it the turn before would have been better it's gonna be able to defog right here as he actually goes for Thunderbolt so he takes the life warp plus the burn damage putting him in a range of pursuit unfortunately I took unnecessary damage right there but uh, nothing I could have done about that if he was life warp three attacks and if he has Thunderbolt he's definitely life warp three attacks so gonna be able to knock him out of pursuit which is nice because I had no switchings for a Draco Meteor my offensive Jirachi was my best switching uh, unfortunately though I am a lot weaker than I was before as uh, Clefable is gonna come out now I think I'm just gonna knock this thing off probably just gonna get up Stealth Rock I actually get a crit so that might actually put him in range of Ice and Crash as he Moon Blasts up and uh, hmm. Gator okay, knock him out with Sheer Force Waterfall. Huh? I don't feel like calking. We're gonna attempt to. So I'm just gonna go out to Gator and attempt to knock him out. Gator actually wins me this game. Um, so if I don't knock him out and he thunderwaves me, that could suck. That well, that would suck uh, completely. But I barely miss out on the KO as he Moonblast as opposed to uh, thunderwaving. I guess he wants. Well, actually, if he thunderwaved me, maybe I could have still won. Uh, depending on my spread, but or maybe he, he thought he couldn't burn me with Suicune, so oh man, this guy could win. Uh, my way of beating Suicune is <laughs> it consists of SDing up with my Lanners and destroying his team. Uh, so I have to go out into my Jirachi right here as he has Mega Zam and he's Psychics. So what I can do is actually go for the uh, Toxic. Uh, even if he wants to go Glue Score, that's fine. As Gliscor ends up coming out, I can just sack my, uh, I can just sack my Manaphy and then bring out my Feraligator and uh, attempt to do some damage with Crunch. I don't know. Uh, Suicune is just a big issue to this team, so he taunts me. As I'm gonna go out to Ampharos. Um the reason being is I want to expect his uh, Suicune to come out, and then he does not have a switch into this, so. I'm going to Mega Evolve and just Dragon Pulse expecting his Gliscor to want to come out. Uh, I am physically defensive, so I can... <laughs> I I'll still do a lot. Like, that's no investment doing 56%. So I'm going to Dragon Pulse uh, as he is going to protect up. 
and I'm gonna Dragon Pulse again because I am physically defensive. He does not have any attack investment, so he shouldn't even be able to 2 KO me with this Earthquake. <laughs> Damage? As I'm able to knock him out with the next Dragon Pulse. Fabio putting the team on its back. Uh, Gliscor is gone, so that's great for my Jirachi as Alakazam is gonna come out. That is not great for anything. <laughs> that is actually so bad, so I'm gonna go out to my Jirachi right now as he is gonna calm mind up and I kinda have to toxic him, I feel. I don't have a Psychic Resist though, so uh, this Shadow Ball is going to do a hell of a lot as I'm able to Toxic the uh, Alakazam and I think I just lose. Um, unless Psychic doesn't Oko Manaphy or anything like that, but at least I got off the Toxic <laughs> Like what else could I have done right there? I don't know. I have to hope Manaphy does not fall. <laughs> Or I have to sack everything that way landers can potentially SD up. That's actually my game plan right there. <laughs> I'm gonna Dragon Dance up just in case he wants to try and switch out. Uh, maybe fearing the Aqua Jet, putting him in rage. As that is not the case, and uh, okay. Uh, he's definitely gonna go down right this turn, so. Arrest. Fabio does not eat it up, but. At least he goes down to poison. And now, you know what I have to do? I have to hope he's... I have to hope I crit him with plus two Earthquake as he doesn't beat me with... Uh, as he doesn't burn me with Scald. That's my, actually my only play. Because otherwise, I had no play right there. Uh, that... Does he burn me? Nope. So now I have to crit him with plus two uh, Jolly Earthquake. Otherwise, I just lose this game. As I do not get the crit. And that is going to be a good game. I don't think I had a way of dealing with Mega Alakazam on this team. Uh, my resistance lost to Shadow Ball. And I don't even think if I went for Iron Head, it mattered because the only way I was going to beat him was getting off that Toxic. So, unless one of my Pokemon miraculously lived a plus one Mega freaking Zam's Psychic. <laughs> We're going to look for another game, guys. I'll pause it and we'll be right back. All right, so we have found another game. My opponent hates uh, Super Rachi. Up, uh, sub. Yeah, you too, buddy. My opponent hates this Jirachi. He actually hates this Jirachi. If this had been a regular Manaphy too, this actually destroyed him as well. Um, I'm going to lead off with Manaphy. I lead off with Zapdos, unfortunately. For me, because Tail Glow, HP Fire, Manaphy also puts in some work. I have Psychic for Toxic Croak. Uh, gonna switch out into my Ampharos as I can take any hit he wants to go for. As he ends up Volt switching on out of there into what I'm expecting to be Gastrodon. I guess he could go also into Obama Snow, but I don't mind that. I'll just be able to Volt switch on out of there versus that thing anyway. Into my Jirachi. Let me put on the timer on this guy. But yeah, once I get up a Tail Glow versus, uh, I guess versus Entei. With my mana fee, I should be able to kill some Pokemon. Because the bomb still is going to come out. And. I don't want to Volt Switch and be slower. Actually, I'm a Volt Switch because I'll be faster than him right now before Mega Evolve. I didn't want to uh, become the dragon <laughs> and uh, be super. and basically get destroyed by. Uh, basically get destroyed by. Um, what's it called? Uh, a Hail Move. A uh, Blizzard Move. So. I'm just going to go for Toxic right here, expecting him to want to switch on to something, or one of his resistances for the Iron Head, as uh, the the Zapdos ends up coming out. Now, I know I do outspeed him, so what I could do right here is just go for Iron Head, um, because if he Volt Switch on out of there and goes back out into a Bomb Snow, I'm in a bad position anyway. He might just HP Ice as well, and uh, I, I just want to get off damage on this thing, as I'm able to flinch him. Nice, and Hale is uh, limiting his recovery. He's not recovering turn per turn. He's losing more and more turn per turn. So, what I'm actually going to do is go out to Landers. Uh, even though Landers can win the game, actually. Nah, there's no point in risking it. Forget it. There's no point in risking it. Weavile doesn't do anything in this game, so I'm actually going to go out to Weavile. Uh, Abomb Snow lives a hit, so does Gastrodon. I mean, getting rid of items, items is nice, but I feel Jirachi is more useful, and then Landers is not worth the risk, as I'm able to bring out Weavile. So, at least I'll get off damage on whatever comes out, whether it be a knockoff or uh, anything like that, as Toxic Oak ends up coming out. Interesting, is he a, a vacuum wave variant? Like, <laughs> friend, what are you doing? This is this is not gonna appreciate a life orb. A life orb attack as uh, Gastrodon ends up coming out, and uh, what I can do is just knock off its item as well. I wish he let me hit the Toxic Croak because then that actually opened up a door for my DD Gator, but unfortunately, he does not. As I'm gonna be able to go out into my Manaphy, um, anticipating his next recover on my Astro Crash. As he toxics, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about that, though. I'm actually just going to tail glow up. 
uh, because his two he's probably going to fear the energy ball and he has two switches being a bomb snow as well as toxic croak now if he brings toxic croak i can psychic it and that opens up a door for my feraligator if he brings out a bomb snow i can hp fire it and knock it out so i'm sorry i skipped the turn right there but there was just no point in seeing the animation the hail and all that crap come out so i'm just gonna go right for this uh yeah, I'm gonna go for the plus three HP fire as a bomb of snow is easily gonna go down. And if he wants to go out to Toxic Croak, and he goes out to Toxic Croak, if he wants to bring out Jirachi, he'll let me weaken it. Uh, the point is, a bomb of snow is down. And uh, I hope he goes Toxic Croak actually, as he actually ends up going Entei. This cannot knock me out with the extreme speed, so I'm actually just gonna go for Scald as he brings out Toxic Croak right there. Oh, he got me. He got me. And I'm just gonna fire off a Psychic. Like, okay. We'll fire off a Psychic right now. Even if he wants to switch back out into Jirachi or maybe Entei, uh, plus three Psychic is going to do a lot um, as Entei ends up coming out. And uh, I'm able to do a decent amount of damage. I'm still, I, I still just win now with Landorus because everything has been weakened. Uh, just going to fire off a Psychic as he is going to be able to extreme speed me. And uh, I can now go out into my, uh, I can now go out to my Landorus and just click Earthquake. He does not have a switch in for Earthquake. Uh, I don't have to SD up right now, I feel, because um, if he goes Zapdos, then he goes Zapdos. Uh, I'm able to 2 KO the Gastrodon with this Earthquake had he stayed in, as uh, he ended up going out to Zapdos. And um, I'll go Weavao, because I'll, if he Volt Switches, then uh, my Landorus comes out for free versus anything. Well, not for free, sorry, Chimp Act. Uh, but my Landorus comes out, and I want to also give him the illusion that I am, uh, that I am a Choice Scarf. So, whatever comes out, I will be able to hit uh, with the Earthquake and knocking it out, basically. Uh, I guess, though, I really wish he let me Psychic his, uh, Psychic his, um, so what's it called? <laughs> his Toxic Croak, because then I could have just went out to get her. And now I risk him being, um, Lurachi, so. I'm actually going to go out to Toxic Croak, right? Uh, Ferret for Alligator, sorry. Because I can click crunch and uh, do a bit of damage. Also, I'll find out what type of Jirachi he is. Um, if he wants to go Toxic Croak, then he goes Toxic Croak. I, I can't. There's nothing else I can do about that. But it seems I'm fastest, so that's the knowledge I needed to know that my Landers will also be able to outspeed him. And he's also in KO range of you know the Earthquake. So Toxic Croak is going to come out, and uh, I'm going to go out to Ampharos because I can get off a slow Volt Switch versus him, as he is going to double onto Zapdos. Okay, cool play on your part, bro. Whatever floats your boat as I'll be able just to mega evolve and go right for the Dragon Pulse, uh, weakening him as anything that wants to come in is not going to appreciate this Dragon Pulse. Gastrodon will go down as he brings out the Gastrodon and uh, I can then Volt Switch for free versus anything that comes out. Nothing is going to be able to do any damage to me. Uh, Jirachi is going to get up to Stealth Rock. At what price though? At what price, Jirachi? As my Landers is going to be able to come out. And again, going for Earthquake is my best play. There's no reason to risk my win condition right now. Even if he goes Zapdos and continually Volt switches around, Earthquake is my smartest play that I can go for. Because one, I end up at full HP, or almost full HP after uh, Stealth Rock. And then th the amount of times this thing wants to come in, I do not care. I don't care. And Jirachi is just expendable at this point. As he HP ices. And uh, what I'll actually do is... Um, can make a play there's no point honestly actually uh going out to drachi might have been a misplay because he could potentially um set up with his toxic coke i'm actually just gonna iron head here as he brings out the toxic coke <laughs> i forgot he can't set up with toxic coke i have iron head <laughs> as um, i'm gonna be able to uh, weaken him if he wants to go for the sucker punch uh because he's leftovers i might actually be able to live it at 38 percent don't quote me on that but um I'm also weakening his Zapdos for my Gator, and that also weakened his Toxic Croak for my Gator, so I'm okay with this. I'm also gaining leftovers on top of that. So while it could have been bad if Toxic Croak potentially set up to like what plus six, maybe? Okay, pl maybe plus six would have been bad, but <laughs> Jirachi is Jirachi, so uh, I'm gonna be able to. Uh, I don't. I don't care if he roost up because again, he's still back up where he was before. And now he's going to be taking Iron Head plus the poison damage. And he Volt Switches out, so he, he still ended up with less HP than he did before this started. As Entei is going to come out. And uh, I will be able to outspeed an Adamant Entei and just go right for Toxic right here. Uh, weakening him. I don't have to switch out into my Aphros because afterwards I can just go right for Volt Switch. And the, uh, the Toxic plus the Volt Switch damage will be able to knock him out. And then Gator I think just cleans up anyway. So... I'm going to click Volt Switch right here. His Bulldoze does absolutely nothing. He's a Salt Vest, though. We already know that from the fact that he took that Psychic earlier. And, 
I don't know why I'm, I'm prolonging this game. I had ways to win this game a lot sooner and a lot quicker, but <laughs> uh, sometimes I like to draw out the game because I enjoy playing with these Pokemon. Does that make sense? That makes sense, buddies. Uh, what I'm going to do is go out to my Ampharos because if he uh, HP Ices, and I'll, then he actually might be able to 2-KO me. Um, but if he Roosts, then I'm able to get off a Dragon Pulse anyway. So I'm actually going to Dragon Pulse right here. If he wants to Volt Switch, then um, I get out my Landorus and then... I could potentially try and make a play, but he ends up going right for the next HP Ice as uh, I can now go out into my uh, for Alligator. And the way I was trying to do this was I don't have to go for any inaccurate move ever. Because um, he's in range of the Sheer Force Life or Boosted Ice Punch. We already know that my Jirachi outspeeds him and that he's uh, physically defensive. So able to knock him out as uh, Toxico can come out if he wants to, but uh, Ice Punch does 2 hit KO. And if he SDs up, I can live a Sucker Punch. Um, I can live a sucker punch uh, because he has leftovers there and he's probably only going to do like 68%. Yeah, 61. Well, as I'm able to 2 -hit KO him with the ice punch and that is going to be a good game. So good game, buddy. And uh, where are we at? We're at 30 minutes. So I think I'll leave it right there for now. Uh, guys, thank you for everybody for watching. Um, I want to see if there's a way I can make this team a bit better because I do like it. I love Fabio. Fabio is great. Did I say... Did I say at one point in the video, Latios goes for Draco Meteor and not drop a Draco? Like, that has been in my head. I'm like, why did I say that? That's actually, like, hurting me. <laughs> I found an almond on the floor. All right, I'm going to throw this out. I can't eat this. It's not on camera anyway. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> what do you guys watch me? Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. You know, only if you enjoyed, of course. Uh, feel free to share the video as well. It helps out my channel. helps it grow. Love your comments as well. Love reading them, especially on the Nuzlocke. The Nuzlocke is really fun when you guys comment. Um, and yeah, until next time, guys. Later.